Hi, I'm Ruth Lockery. The folks at CPI tell me our call center guru. I've been involved in call centers for almost 20 years, in positions from trainer to director of the center. I've run centers from 15 to 150 agents, and I've had opportunities to work with great call center leaders from all over. I am pleased to be able to join you for our latest videos, the Interaction Supervisor Video Series. Many of you joined us for our Interaction Client Did You Know Video Series, and we are glad to have you back. If you've not yet seen this series, please visit www.compi.com slash ININ videos to get your copy. So, you're the leader of a call slash contact center. It's your responsibility to keep the center running smoothly. What do you need to make that happen? In my experience, it takes three things. First, we all know that every call center runs on its stomach. So, food is essential. Second, you need excellent people. And third, you need data. You need to be able to see what's going on with the work in your center. How many of your interactions are in queue? How long is it taking us to answer them? What's our service model? How many have we abandoned today? Is one queue experiencing slower service than another? On and on, your day is filled with data about work. Your day is also filled with data about those excellent people. Who is logged in taking calls right now? How long has Maria been at home? Is Tony's story a tiny question? I wonder if Cindy needs help with that call that has lasted twice her usual length. On and on, your day is filled with data about your people. If you like me, that data about the work and the people drives your day. It directs the decisions you make about staff and about service. You can't succeed with others. And it is essential that you have a tool to help you manage all of that data well. That is where your master supervisor comes in. This is the tool that allows you to create a dashboard specific to you to allow you to see what's going on in your center every minute of the day. It will even alert you if something's going on and you're away from your desk. In this series of videos, we're going to show you how to put this tool to work to make you a more efficient, well-informed leader in your center. I mentioned a moment ago that every call center runs on food. Of course, the ultimate in food is a formal setting for dinner. Appetizer, soup, salad, college cleansing, sorbet, entrees, and dessert. We got to thinking about that, and I came up with the ultimate call center setting for here. And here it is before you now. The first course, chocolate. The second course, hold on for a minute. Anything you bring in in a crock pot for your kitchens and your potluck. The third course, caffeine, especially if you're a 24 by 7 center. The fourth course, everything from a vending machine. The fifth course is my favorite. That would be microwave popcorn. The sixth course, every call center runs on this, pizza. And finally, the seventh course is dessert. You know, speaking of the ultimate meal, I happen to think the ultimate in managing the call center is the power found in the management supervisor. So I've got a seven course menu to present to help you learn math and supervisor. We're going to do this video series in seven parts. The first one will be taking a tour and continuing your view. Second will be two management. Third, agent management. Fourth, server management. Fifth, setting your limits. Sixth, running your report. And the seventh part will be all the advanced stuff. By the time we're finished, it's our goal for you to be a power user of interaction supervisor. We can't promise that we'll make you the best contact center leader ever. You know, I found it takes all seven courses of call center food to accomplish that. So, grab the favorite first course, pull up your chair, and let's get to work on using the power of interaction supervisor.